Hello everyone, in this video I want to talk about 3D audio for the Xbox Series X. Now we already have plenty of information uh, available for us for how the 3D audio actually works on the PlayStation 5. And I'm actually asking myself at that moment, wait a second, we didn't hear anything about the 3D audio for the Xbox Series X, so does it have even one? Alright, let's check it out. Now, just searching the web uh, and things related to Xbox, I got into this article and this is on Xbox.com. Uh, and the thing is, as you can see, this is from 2017 and it talks about the Xbox One, yeah, not Xbox, Xbox Series X. And as you can see, experience your game is full audio immersion with Windows, Sonic and Dolby Atmos Spatial Sound. So even Xbox One already supported. We don't like, uh, of course, Xbox Series X will support it, but which technolo technologies are actually going to implement there. Uh, as you can see, it's stereo sound, surround sound, and special sound. However, just scrolling a bit more, a bit more, and I got to, where is it? Yeah. Uh, you see, Windows Sonic for headphones and Dolby Atmos for headphones. Both enable special sound for whole headphones, earbuds, and audio headsets. Alright, so Windows Sonic and Dolby Atmos will work, you see, for all headphones. You don't need like a special headphones. But it says Windows Sonic for headphones uh, is available out of the box, while Dolby Atmos for headphones is it's for a price. Again, this is for Xbox One we are talking about, all right? So again, this technology works with uh, old headphones, earbuds, and audio headsets. Well, the same we can expect with uh, the Sony PlayStation. But again, let's see what the difference in terms of technology is. Now, Sony uh, has developed its own uh, 3D audio engine called Tempest 3D Audio Engine. So it's done that instead of using already available technologies like Dolby Atmos. So this is done, you know, similar to the fashion that Sony did with its uh, music when it developed uh, the 360 reality audio. Now we are not talking about kind of a simulating from stereo, right? And kind of creating a simulation surround sound. This is an object-based spatial sound technology. This means is, and actually this was explained in one of the videos, introduction videos for the PlayStation 5 technologies, that developers can even apply sounds to object reward. For example, if you kind of simulate rain, right? Uh, in 3D. You can give drops of rain, attach sound to drop of rains, and depends on where this specific drop falls, the user will hear the audio coming from that specific location. Now PSVR also have kind of similar technology, but this one is much more enhanced and it supports up to 100 audio sources. What this means that more um, sounds can be represented as special like before because you have more limited amount of sound sources you need to choose for example this one will be stereo and this one will be specialized and now with 100 sound sources supported uh, in the tempest engine on the playstation 5 developers can uh, utilize more sound sources and of course just for some games like every sound can be actually specialized so for example, if you want to simulate rain in a game, you can you just use an audio uh, file, just a sound effect file, uh, which plays rain, right? The rain that was pre-recorded somewhere um, and just play it when you see rain on the screen. Another thing that you can do is just uh, maybe take kind of a sound of a drop of rain and dynamically create something, uh, you know, depends on, you know, when rain actually falls down, but it won't be special. But with this uh, PlayStation 5 engine, you can actually attach uh, these, this sound to a specific drop. So we actually get rain sound, which is very authentic because each drop that falls down, maybe not each drop because again, there are not many rains, but you know, one every few of them, you will hear very, very natural sound that will come, come from all direction as it you hear it normally, naturally, uh, you know, in real life. So actually audio is feel like more like lifelike experience, very uh, natural instead of something that feels artificial. Now, to make it very accurate, uh, the Sony PlayStation, we're going to soon get to the Xbox, don't worry. Uh, usage HRTF, which allows them to kind of uh, uh, make sure that the sound are match matches, sound matches 
individual ear of the user right because you know everyone has its own kind of a you know a shape of ear and head and you know so when you uh project those sound you want them to sound like they are coming for a very accurate location now the problem with that is that each one of us is different here it's like kind of a footprint so when you project the sound well you kind of get kind of deviation depends on uh you know the size of the head and the the, the canal of the ear you know so they want to really make it accurate as possible but it's important to keep in mind that although you won't get kind of something customized for you because they need a scanner you know in order to get kind of a really accurate scan this technology is not there yet but they try to really make it uh as accurate as possible but maybe in the future we're going to see like we'll be able maybe to take a picture of your head or ears and you know they can const reconstruct something from that with ai now i think that you know it's probably won't be long into the future we're going to see it probably coming really soon more than we think so what they did is actually they just uh, scanned many heads and ears and tried to create something that can you know it's like when creating a controller you can create a controller for all ends but you try to make something that fits majority of people uh you know in different ages and you know different sizes and stuff so the same goes here they try to create something that will try to provide the accurate um, solution as possible and in fact this is the type of thing that i wanted to see the difference between the the two solution from xbox and uh from sorry from sony and microsoft now microsoft worked on the technology that is called project acoustics and i'm going to show something from the game developers conference uh in august 5 2019 i'm going to link to it also in the description of this video so you can watch it yourself Now, uh, in this conference, they actually mentioned uh, you know, the effects that create acoustics, and you need to understand why it's so complicated. So they mentioned obstruction, which is sound, uh, uh, which is sound is weakened and perceived direction changes with how the waves diffract around the obstruction. There's also uh, portaling, the sound arrive around doorways, through doorways, and that provides better special cues for the players if the if the sound was coming through the wall and by the way this is very important because if you play games you know well you know tell yourself i just heard somebody there and it's not actually there right this is something that can solve it right but again we need more accurate sound solution uh occlusion the total reduction of loudness from the scene geometry it means that sound reaches the listener via the complex and reflected and diffracted waves the other thing is uh, reverberance, uh, weight audio. The direct path is obstructed in the second room over here. They explained to it as a room and a smaller room, making the dry sound weaker while the reverberation is equally strong. This helps with the perception of distance. There's also decay time. Decay time. Sound reverberates longer in larger rooms. Now imagine needing to take all that and put it in a game that have many dynamic scenes and you see this can be very problematic so a solution there must be a solution for that that simplified those, those things for developers now the other thing that they didn't see there and it's actually also relevant is when you have different materials right so if a sound wave hits for example metal or maybe just a fabric you know different fabrics again it you know it just behaves differently and you can hear it differently all right, so many things. Let's now touch and talk about Xbox Series X audio solutions. Now, I continue Googling more and I found this special audio. By the way, this is from 2015 on Microsoft website, this official website. And remember the age RTF that Sony talked about so much in the presentation? Well, Microsoft using the same concept here, you know, age RTF. And if you uh, go, you can see that there's age RTF personalization. It's kind of big machine. This create a 3D model of the head and the ears, and this allows for much better personalization and much more accurate audio experience. You see, so this is the same thing. They mentioned application of special audio, gaming, virtual sound, mixed reality, stereo technology. You know, you can read more about it uh, on their official website. I'm going to link to it in the... Now, I know you, you don't want any guesses. You really want to know if it's available. Well, this is from Xbox.com website. The technology used on the Xbox Series X. And if we scroll down, well, guess what we are going to see among all the technologies. Can you guess? Yes, Project Acoustics. The same technology that I talk about here, available already for many years and probably previous years of research. 
And again, this is again confirmed, right? Without any doubt. So if you have a doubt, 3D audio, HRTF, not HRTF, well, kind of a similar technology used by Microsoft as well. It's just that Sony make a really big deal of it, whether Microsoft, you know, is kind of a, well, it didn't kind of put a big presentation behind it, right? And this is, by the way, uh, another thing from the presentation, for the developer's presentation. And there are plugins for both Unity and uh, Unreal Engine that allows uh, developers to assign different properties, sound properties for different uh, objects in the scene. Developer can easily even just create uh, mesh names and the uh, engine will automatically assign uh, the properties, audio properties to those uh, specific uh, 3D objects without the developer need to do anything. It kind of happens automatically based on the name or also metadata. But the thing is that this engine, what it does is kind of uh, create a voxels uh, that cover the geometry of the scene and the audio engine actually interacts with those voxels. Now, I don't want to dive into more in-depth details. First of all, there are tons of details to talk about. Second, I need to read and spend more time reading about it, which I will later on, but I know it's overkill for this video. So what I wanted to know when it comes to audio technology uh, of the Xbox Series X, well, it uses kind of a similar technology. I guess this is kind of the most advanced right now. Uh, this is why both companies choose to go with this. Uh, but eventually, again, we're going to move forward and we have probably more personalized HRTF solution, uh, which even improved the accuracy of this particular solution. Um, but of all, it seems to me this is kind of very similar. And th the reason I didn't hear about it that much because Sony put such a great presentation and kind of put it out so everybody can know about it, whether with Microsoft I needed kind of a, to search for it. You know, I didn't find it on... I don't know, trailers and stuff, or maybe I miss them, I don't know. Well, so basically this is it for this particular video, kind of a comparison, not too in-depth. If you are an expert in this field and you know kind of differences between the two technologies that each company use, please let us know in the comment section below. I believe, you know, when you get more in-depth, you know, uh, understanding things, you're probably going to find differences. Question is, well, whether there will be a big difference. Well, I don't know about that. But again, this is all the information I got for now. If I have more, I'm going to share with you more in future videos. So again, consider subscribing to my channel and giving a like if you enjoyed it. i see you in the next video. Cheers. Bye-bye.